Hello friends, this is the Namak Ab district of Takar province, where 56 million Afghani drowned in the Namak Ab canal. Did you know that the Namak Ab canal project was destroyed in Takar's Namak Ab district? And what effect did this have on people's lives and the development of the region? Why was the saltwater retention channel destroyed and did non-compliance with standards or incorrect decisions cause this problem? How has this destruction affected the lives of farmers and residents of the saltwater region? And what changes has it made in their economy and quality of life? What technical and engineering team is under the supervision of the reconstruction of the water salt project? And what measures will be taken to prevent similar problems in the future? In the valley of Namak Ab district of Takar province, an intolerable calamity happened a few years ago and the vital canal Namak Ab was completely destroyed. This canal, which was destroyed, was the only promise of life for more than 20 acres of land in Namak Ab district and Nar Said area of Talagan district, and there was hope for development and progress for the people of these areas. However, this water channel was completely destroyed within six months after its implementation due to improper construction. Before this incident, the seawater passed through the Takchikana salt mine, and every year it caused the destruction of hundreds of acres of land. The stone and sand walls that were built on both sides of the sea were destroyed due to non-compliance with engineering standards. Now, the water of Dera Namak passes. It becomes salty and the fields dry up due to this salty water, which is not a good situation for animals and agriculture. The community of Namak Ab District has decided that if serious efforts are not made to conserve water from the Namak Canal, they will block the mining of salt as a protest. The reason for this unfortunate situation is that the engineers did not comply with the necessary standards in the implementation of this project, and the canal was built with small water dimensions, which ultimately did not withstand the large water capacity. And with the increase in water volume, the walls of the canal were destroyed and is gone. This incident has put the blame on the farmers of the region and the local people are looking at the future with sadness. When the water canal was destroyed, the local people said that if the necessary measures are not taken to solve this problem, our people's opposition to salt extraction will increase. One of the engineers of the water salt project stated that this project was started as an experiment but it did not have the expected result. The cost of 56 million Afghani was paid for the construction of this canal by the Asian Development Bank, and the project contract was to create stone and earth walls, but the destruction of some of these walls due to mining led to the complete destruction of the saltwater canal. And finally, 56 million Afghani go to Kukche Sea with saltwater. To investigate and provide a solution to this problem, a research team has been sent to the place and the canal reconstruction plan has been put on the agenda. The Ministry of Water and Energy also announced the information about the start of this project in 2016. And after its completion, unfortunately, it has been completely destroyed again. After that, the Islamic Emirate acted as an executor and directed the project to change its direction so that it would not be destroyed again. Following this calamity, the National Water Regulatory Authority has started a new project to make it possible to supply drinking and agricultural water again in Namak Ab district of Takar province. This project was implemented by the National Development Company, and with its implementation, the water of Namak Ab Canal, which was unusable due to contact with mining areas, is reused. This canal, which in the past provided drinking and agricultural water to parts of Namak Ab district of Takar province. After passing through the mining areas, its water became salty and undrinkable. For this reason, it has been decided to change its direction in order to increase the water efficiency of this canal. The new project of the National Administration of Water Affairs, with dimensions of 1,200 meters in length, 12 meters in width, and irrigation capacity of more than 11,000 hectares of land, is implemented by the Hellman Department of Construction under the supervision of the National Development Company. This project includes ground leveling, mountain cutting, and water diversion activities. At the same time, the National Development Company is implementing various projects, some of which have been put into operation, and the people have been proud of the successful implementation of these projects. 
It is hoped that with the continuation of these efforts, the environmental and economic problems of Takar region will be improved and these beautiful and fertile plains will return to their prosperity. Due to the various events that have occurred in this part of Takar province, the unity and solidarity of the people of these areas is of special importance to preserve water resources. These incidents show the importance and necessity of paying attention to attracting support and correct investments in irrigation projects and developing water infrastructure in dry areas and needy plains. As solutions and suggestions to maintain and improve the situation, it is first necessary to conduct a detailed analysis of the causes and effects of these incidents. Also, we should benefit from past experiences and ensure the use of engineering standards in all stages of infrastructure projects in terms of safety and quality. The development of irrigation projects should be coordinated according to the changing needs and the economic improvement of the region in order to improve the standard of living and reduce dependence on unstable water sources. Also, it is necessary to create an efficient management and monitoring system for irrigation projects to prevent unwanted occurrences. Increasing cooperation between local government, local people, and related organizations can also be effective in solving issues related to water conservation and water infrastructure development. Also, ensuring the proper implementation and maintenance of irrigation projects and creating new and sustainable approaches. The active participation of associations and non-governmental organizations in decision-making and implementation can also be used as an effective solution to solve these issues. It is necessary to make a joint effort to create comprehensive solutions and corrective measures in order to prevent the destruction of water infrastructure and increase the efficiency of water resources. These measures can help to achieve sustainable development, preserve the environment, and improve the living conditions of people in irrigated areas. The incident of the destruction of the Namak Ab Sea Water Conservation Channel in Takar District, which was completely destroyed, shows the importance of maintaining and properly managing water resources in dry and water-sensitive areas. The effects of this incident, from the drying of fields to the decline of water quality, have the effects of attracting the support of the community and officials. In order to prevent the occurrence of similar incidents, it is necessary to optimize water infrastructure, develop sustainable agricultural technologies, create managerial policies in water use, and promote public awareness in the field of water management as the main priorities of managers and decision makers. These measures can help preserve water resources, sustainable development, and deal with water challenges in dry areas. The Saltwater Canal project has been completed, and the people of Namak Ab District are now very happy with the rebuilding of the Namak Ab Canal. Thank you for watching.